What's going on, good people? Woke up this morning, hopped on Facebook real quick, and I saw somebody said, 50 people killed. Wow. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I'm expecting a bomb. Well, then I go ahead and look on foxnews.com, and I see there was a gunman over in Las Vegas on the Strip. Killed 50 people, wounded 200, at least for now. He was shooting people from the balcony of the of his hotel room. I think it was the 32nd floor. I say the guy's name is Stephen Padlock. The police busted in the room, and the guy, like a coward, killed himself, committed suicide. You know. There was about 30,000 people was reported outside at this, uh, I think, Route 91 Harvest Music Festival. I'm thinking it's a country music festival. Jason Aldean was performing. This guy was just shooting, man. Going crazy. Obviously, lost his mind. Thinking that this is a sane option to do. Whatever's going on in his life, he thinks that shooting and killing tens of hundreds of people is an acceptable response. This guy was insane. There's not a whole lot known about the guy. I mean, they got his name, or at least released about the guy. They don't know his political affiliation. You know, like we know with the the Steve Scalise shooter, you know, he was a Bernie supporter and, you know, a Democrat and whatnot. But this guy don't know much yet, but I'm sure it'll come out. But I'll be honest, when I first heard about it, when I saw the Facebook, I thought it was a bomb. You know, to do that much damage to kill 50 people, I'm like, somebody came with a car on the strip and blew up. But no, nope, it wasn't that. Hey, insanity comes in various forms, you know. And the guy's name is Stephen Padlock. Uh, sounds, like a, sounds like a white guy's name. I could be wrong, but sounds like it. But race really doesn't matter at this point. And it shouldn't matter at any point. But I guarantee you this. Right now, it is 6.38 Pacific time. 6.38 in the morning. Uh, by around 9 o'clock, this conversation or the, the fact-finding on the news media, it's going to devolve from that. And it's just going to turn into a gun control debate about the fact of this guy having access to guns. Cause they said that it was like eight guns in his hotel room, you know, to do this much damage. Uh, the guy, and they said they found rifles and I wasn't of course surprised by that. Um, probably maybe had a, a couple handguns mixed in there as well. Um, but the fact that he had rifles on him, you know, God forbid if he has a, you know, a, a the scary AR-15 on him, the media is gonna jump on that and it's going to become, forget the fact finding and just see what the heck is going on with this guy and what is his mental state, is going to turn into a straight up gun control debate. We need to ban the guns, ban the high capacity uh, uh, magazines, ban all that, you know, more background checks and all this different stuff. Even though it's time and time shown again that when we have these mega shootings and all this different stuff, whatever gun control people that people try to put up, it never would have stopped the gun, uh, you know, the shooting in the first place. You know, people use guns to defend themselves, you know, and use them for legal purposes. We have over 300 million guns in this country. You can't ban all the guns. You can't outlaw all the guns. What we need to do, we need to find out what's going on with this guy, who he is, more about him. We definitely need to pray. And my thing is this, America does not have a gun problem. America, just like the whole world, has a sin problem, has a depravity problem, where selfish people, self-centered people, deal with life in such a way where they feel that killing other people, innocent people, and for this example, people sitting down enjoying a country music concert, that killing them is an acceptable option. That's sin, man. 
That's depravity. It's not the gun. People make this mystical kind of, they put this mystical kind of connotation on a gun as if this gun has a mind and a life of its own. It doesn't. It's just metal plastic, metal and plastic forged together. But America has a sin problem. You know, this guy had a sin problem. And his sin problem was not dealt with through the love of Christ. And so he responded in a satanic, selfish, and evil way. That's really the conversation that we need to have. That we have a sin problem here in this country. I can't give a whole lot more um, news besides that because that's kind of the information that's been released up until this point. But that's my take. Watch it devolve into gun control, which is not going to solve anything. And, uh, you know, we're not going to be talking about the spiritual emphasis in regards to this guy. Um, we're not going to be talking about the depravity and the effect of sin. Nobody wants to talk about that. Okay. It's easy to talk about gun control. You, you could spin the wheels on that all day. So, anyways, that's all I, I want to just give my uh, take on it real quick. Um, but, and we'll just see what comes out in the news and see what more information we can find about this guy and potentially the roommate. But stay prayed up. Pray for America. Pray for the world. Sin, man, is active. And this is another reason why we got to stay away from sin and stay close to the Lord. You guys have a good one. I'm out.